Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. We have some news about the banner coming this Friday in the Miracle Wishes. We are going to have a new hero and five great heroes, so let's talk about them. Okay, so as you can see above my head, we are going to have five heroes in the Miracle Wishes as always. This Friday we are going to have one new legendary hero, Aether. Uh, I don't know about the skills yet, maybe we are going to have the details t today for content creators, maybe tomorrow it's going to be published as always. So in the uh, banner, the same banner, we are going to have also set. Uh, I'm going to show you in the game and uh, tell you what do I think about the hero. So if I uh, hide that, we are going to have set here. He is one of the best supports for this faction. Uh, there are two great supports to have absolutely on that faction if you want to push the content you have first Seth and the second one is gonna be Morville. Uh, these two are such great heroes. Also Seth is great for dungeons. If you don't have Lydia, if you don't have all the broken heroes in the game, he can help you a lot because at the beginning of the of wave, if he has the SQD3, he's gonna cast the uh, that skill here without using the cooldown. You are gonna have a big shield on your heroes and the tenacity up 60% at the beginning of the wave. Using his teammate, you can have an attack buff 40% on all your heroes and the buff ripple too that increases your uh, basic attack damage on all your heroes by 40%. He can heal a lot, uh, he is great and also he can inflict wet 2 and cold 2 to the target, lowering his uh, basic attack and skill damage by 40% when he takes some attacks. Sorry for the song. Uh, he is a great hero and also he can inflict suffocated on the basic attack it's interesting maybe for pvp but you has a very low chance to uh, inflict it so it doesn't really matter but after that he is a great hero so if you don't have him maybe it's going to be interesting to pull for him uh, but you have other great heroes in the banner but if you want to target another one and if you get him uh, don't be sad because he is a great support so uh, other heroes you are going to have Gilly Man uh, Gilly Man uh, here on the Wizard Eye uh, she is great mainly for the Tower of Mark the blue one if you don't have any uh, buff removal for uh, the boss on the stage 28 but then she is great awesome I mean for PvP uh, because she can she can, she is a support, so she has a lot of speed. She can remove all the buffs from all targets, lower their speed by 40%. And uh, if you have the SQD3, cast that skill right after this one without using the cooldown. And that one is dealing a crazy amount of damage if you build her as a DPS. Uh, you are going to destroy the entire team of enemies if you have exclusive 2 and 3 on her. Uh, she deals a crazy amount of damage. She can't be silenced. Uh, the silence um, go back to the inflictor. Uh, this is a great hero. Really, really nice hero. So if you want to focus on PvP, she is the best stripper in the game at the moment and one of the best DPS for, for PvP. So... Next to hero, we are also going to have a space, if you have a look here, a space. So if you need exclusive 3 on space, it's your time maybe to pull for her. Uh, if you need exclusive 4 and 5, uh, same comment. Uh, if I knew that, maybe I would not have spent uh, two eyes recently on her, because also I got her on my last summon this weekend. Uh, so I'm I'm a bit disgusted about that, about that but... It's the game. She is great and if you want to focus on PvP, you need the exclusive 5 quickly. So, that was all for that. And the last hero in the banner is going to be Focus. If you don't have Focus, he is such an amazing hero for many content. In, in fact, all content in the game probably. You can use him everywhere. Great for the Tower of Mark if you have him with Hezenja on the red mark, uh, on the green mark. He is going to uh, reset the cooldown of Hezenja. He is going to lower the attack of the enemy by 20% on the basic attack. He can provide Immortal, reset the cooldown, give an extra turn with an attack by 40%. And if you have the SQZ3, it has a 50% chance to give, to give one extra turn uh, using that skill. And this is super, super strong. But you need the SQZ3. 
Uh, he's a great hero for PvP. Uh, I'm using him with Nita or Belt. Yeah, Nita. Uh, so if I nuke one time with Nita, he plays after and reset her cooldowns, give her an extra turn, and I can uh, nuke a second time. And with that, I can kill Brynhild's team. It's also great to have him for the Brave Trial, though. So, enough talk about the legendary heroes, let's talk about the others. We are gonna have a Hardy, it's, it's gonna be a new epic hero, we don't have the details yet. We are gonna have Krian, he is an interesting hero early game and mid game, but uh, you won't use him after that. He is a nice HP burning hero, uh, he can stun enemies, he has two different forms, stun on uh, controls on the basic form and HP burnings on that one with some AoE uh, HP burn and this is an interesting interesting hero. Then we are gonna have Makin. Yeah, sorry, I, I hide it. Uh -huh. Then we are gonna have Makin here. Uh, this is the best damage dealer. If you want to uh, clear the campaign hell mode in seven days to get Hezenja. Uh, so uh, if you start a new account, uh, I won't tell you to pull for him, uh, to, to buy some wishes to pull for him. Uh, maybe at the beginning you can buy some, uh, you can purchase some uh, miracle wishes in the market uh, with some tokens, maybe events, etc. Uh, it depends where you get some. Or maybe on uh, the resource store because you can get some miracle wishes this week. So it's going to be interesting to reroll for to get Makin here and maybe other great heroes in the banner. Uh, to help you um, finish the campaign faster. Uh, I'm gonna try to release my video to explain to you how did I clear the campaign in seven, less than 7 days, show you the stats of my heroes, so uh, I'm gonna do that before this weekend. So Makin is interesting because he can basically one shot all enemies in the campaign and uh, deal crazy amount of damage to bosses and get extra turn meta. Uh, he is an amazing hero for, P for PvE. Uh, and he can help early game in PvP to one shot enemies, so he is a great hero to have. And the last one is gonna be Sadora. Uh, she is interesting in the Water Wizard Eye. Uh, I already made a video talking about her. She can counter some enemies in PvP. Uh, she can um, put a, a damage reduction to your heroes by 25% at the beginning of the wave. Reduce the attack of the highest attacker in front of you at the beginning of the wave by 20%. Uh, that can help a lot. Silence enemies and put a save at one. So in terms of uh, PvP, she is interesting. And maybe against Gwyneth, she can be interesting too, but uh, they are better heroes to put a save around. So, that was all for that, now let's talk about other events. Uh, we are gonna have the Gift of Heaven starting tomorrow, so if you have some wishes remaining, you can invest them on that event in order to get some points and try to get a, a Legendary Phantom Dragon Eye. It's an investment, so if you don't want to spend now, if you or if you spend now, the points you are gonna have that time are gonna remain until the next same event. We are also going to have the Dragon Cleave Double Drop. Uh, it's going to take place on... Uh, on Friday this weekend. So if you are lacking some food, maybe you can farm. You can farm it just a bit. Uh, but uh, th this week we have uh, rum. We have the draw and ruin event. So uh, it's maybe better to use all your stamina on that event. Uh, if I show you now, it's all for the, the announcement. If I go back to the game here, we are going to talk about two things. The first one, I pulled more uh, heroes this weekend on Sunday uh, so I spend more and I feel really disappointed because look at the summons okay I'm gonna go uh uh, until at the beginning. So this is the first hero I summoned this weekend. You uh, probably saw uh, saw it on my last video. I got space of Hal 9000, Timmy Melot, Hal 9000, Chardonnay, Slivel, and that was. All and then I bought uh, some more packs. I got Chardonnay, Besmok, Chardonnay, Mamouk, Elena, Eric, and Gunner. And that was all on my video. Then I decided to pull more and I got Aisha. And my heart almost broke because I didn't have Aisha. And so I got the animation of a new hero coming. I thought it was Popper, but it wasn't Popper. Okay. It was Aisha, and she is such a bad hero. So I got Aisha, I got another Chardonnay, so now he's exclusive 4, and I got Hal 9000 and Barry. 19 heroes in total, no single 
popper. So I spent a huge amount of money to try to get him, and so I feel really, really bad about that. Uh, next, th that was the first time and the last time I spent on a, a, a 15x banner. Because the rate to drop the hero you want sometimes sucks a lot, and so I wasted a lot of money. Uh, so I probably won't spend a lot <laughs> during that month now. Uh, so you are gonna have the miracle wishes. I'm close to a PD because I need just a bit more. So during the week I should get just a bit more here, and maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit one PD, uh, and that's all. I won't spend more. I spend enough. And uh, let's talk about Rome also because we have the Dragon Ruin events here. Uh, look at this is the points I have currently: 15k, and this is the amount of battles I did on Rome 39. Round 39, 54 victories, it's not stable, I have maybe 80%, maybe just a bit more than 80% win rate, but look at the gear I get, it's only 6 star gear, I had only one 5 star piece of gear, and look at the amount of purple and legendary stuff I have, this is so damn good in comparison with before. I love that. And look at the boots here. Speed boots, legendary ones with effect resistance, effect heat and healing effect. Perfect for my space. I really hope that it's gonna proc everything in resistance. So uh, the next mythic I'm gonna have, uh, this is gonna be these boots, okay? So perfect, so perfect. So uh, that was all for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice farming. I hope you get lucky on your farming. And have a nice day and see you soon. Ciao, ciao.